Let me tell you something. I know a lot of y'all is new fans. So y'all gonna have to scroll down. Scroll down all the way to 2014, 15 and see the type of shit that I was doing. I worked my ass off for this shit. There was a point when I was on Love and Hip Hop that I had $200,000 in my bank account. And I went all the way down to $20,000 because everything I was investing on my music. I went to DJ's MB's house and I was like, knock, knock. Yeah, can you listen to my mixtape, sir? Yep. Um, on my first mixtape, I invested in my tour. I invested all my money in my shit. Just me and my manager working hard, promoting my shit. I did a whole lot of free showcases for the frizzy. Even when I got signed, like Atlantic was going around asking people for features for me. Niggas was trying to charge me $80,000, $50,000. They, they used to sell them. Don't sleep on her. And we really worked our ass off to be here. So for people to look for excuses on why I'm here really blows my fucking mental. hey yo what's good it's your girl cardi b but i'm about to change my name because i think this is the first time that i have baby here they just grew out of nowhere they grew they grew they grew you know my forehead always been big but you want to know something it was never big i just never had baby hairs to cover them but now i does and you know, I just, I just have this confidence that like, confidence that I like, you know, <laughs> never had before because you know what I'm saying, like, like you know, I look like, how my name don't I look like my name Jennifer? You think my name? I don't look like a Jennifer. 